Good evening, everybody. A prowler rifles through homes as families sleep looking for things to steal. And now police say they found the man responsible, and it's not their first encounter with him. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us live from the Hamilton County Justice Center, where the thief is locked up. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, Matthew Vaki faces seven counts of burglary. He served time in jail and prison for other crimes, but these string of burglaries actually concern police quite a bit because they were particularly bold. Women's purses, a 10 shilling note printed in 1776, and a diamond wedding ring. Just some of the items stolen from George Schneider's home. Police say Matthew Vaki is to blame. Uh, he's gone and, and terrorized my family. He's terrorized our neighborhood. He's, he's robbed another house that I can see from where I'm standing. Schneider says Vaki pried open his basement door last month and then came back a second time stealing other items, including two guns as his family slept. Norwood Police Detective Tim Haywood says Vaki broke into four other homes using the same bold M.O. The issue became um, you know, serious to everybody when, when people are breaking into their houses, but in this case, they were breaking into houses where people were home and they were asleep at night after midnight. Haywood says police identified Vaki as a suspect when coin shop records showed he sold some of Schneider's collectible coins in Confederate dollars. When they searched his home, they found a treasure trove of stolen merchandise, including an antique violin. Police say Vaki actually gave George Snyder's wife's wedding ring to a roommate who turned it over to police. That's one item Schneider's family will get back. I think that you know that's probably the most important thing. I mean, you know, it's, it's going to make her happy, and that's you know something that means something to her and our family. So that's you know something that can't be replaced. And so far, one of the items that George Snyder is not getting back is a gold pocket watch from the 1800s. It's a family or heirloom that's actually engraved with his father and grandfather's name. He had hoped to pass that along to his son someday. He's hoping at some point he might be able to get that item back along with his guns. Now, police say this case was particularly unusual because they recovered about 80% of the stolen property. Typically in cases like these, when that property is gone, it's gone for good. Reporting live from the Justice Center, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami? It's great that his wife got her ring back. And Anjanette, thank you. Police say Vaki confessed to some of the burglaries and stole to feed his crack cocaine addiction.